is the Three Degrees, uh, written by Gamble and Huff, pr and arranged by Norman Harris. I've got a good photo of the uh, the label here on you. It's gone. YouTube is gone now. <laughs> Never mind. We're here. <laughs> JT. Hello. <laughs> Did you have a good New Year? Yeah, I had a happy New Year. That is wonderful. And a happy Christmas as well. This and is all well. great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... And is this yeah. year going to carry on much the same as last year, do you think? Or is it going to uh, be different in... It's about the same. About the same. Yeah. That's good, then. Give or I take an think, inch or two. I should think that's good. John is here as well. John, yeah. John is he's, he's moving over from a Tuesday, you know. He's yeah. going to be here more and more on a Thursday, I think. John, move a little bit to, to that other mic. I think we, we're pretty sure that mic's working. Mm -hmm. So, how are you? Um, fine. Good. What I wanted to do, John, it's, it's good that you're here. I was going to share with JD what, what we was... We, we, I must imp implicate myself in this as well. We were saying some, I think, slightly controversial things on Tuesday about um, mobile phones and schools. Well, you'll be able to continue this argument in yeah. London, won't you? Well, we will. Um. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we're going, we're going to go to BET and then we're going to go to the Gadget Show in Birmingham. So this this topic is going to go on through the year, I would think, or the first couple of months. Well, anyway, the argument you're 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 trying to did you go to a mainstream school or a spe or or, or um, um yeah I went to a mainstream school I guess I went to Blundell School in Tiverton, which right. is a pretty wonderful school in many right. ways. Fine, thank you. Um, right, what are you trying to get at? Well, I'm trying to get at what the schools actually think, because between us on Tuesday, I was saying I thought the schools were in the entertainment business. Well, or why should realise that they, they have to be slightly... They have to keep people's interest to some uh, extent, don't they? Well, yes. Well, yes, but I don't think the answer is start to, let all the, to let all the kids run wild with mobile phones. <laughs> I, I, no, I agree. Don't, you don't think that? No, I don't. No. I agree. I agree with the fact if if, if they are if they have got some kind of um, uh, uh, requirement to want to use the, the the iPhone or the iPad for educational purposes during lessons. Yeah. I think they should be able to do that. Right. But I don't think I don't think your 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 thing about the schools being in the entertainment business is the is is. It, all right, maybe they've got to keep kids kids um, concentration levels up and interests and they've got to be interesting but I don't I don't think I don't think you're gonna get the way of um, you know a class of 30 or 40 kids being able to use their, use their phones in lessons it's not gonna happen that's just not gonna happen it won't happen not 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 in this generation anyway so if the schools send people to bet, or they've been to bet a few times anyway. Look, I what, don't what are they looking for look, when they go there? It's hard to say, really. I mean, uh, you, I look. I don't know of a school. I, I obviously the the bet show is for schools, but I don't know of a school really that w that would actually send a bunch of students to bet for their own purposes. I mean, I was. At, you know, well, no, maybe. Not. Well, they they let few in. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of kids there. It's mostly teachers and technicians and people and people like us. People like us going to have a look <laughs> <laughs> because um, um, well, we are we are in the radio business, which is very educational as well, of course. Yes, we are in the radio business, I guess. And they will be trying to do radio. Schools, you mean? Well, yeah, some schools have got a radio station. Yes, they do indeed. And there'll be several stands there offering radio equipment for schools, which will bring us on to... I wonder if we might be able to get some radio equipment cheaper if you tell them who we are. Well, <laughs> we're, we're prepared to test it, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also going to do a raffle when we go to the, uh, the, the gadget, gadget show. show. That's quite, yeah, but we a, might, that's quite a way in between you've got. Yeah, but I think the, 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 the raffle is a bit vague. If we, if we sort of clarify what the raffle is about, based on what we know at the bet show, uh, then we could um, I think this might be do a, a good better time. raffle. I think this might be a good time to make people aware of the, to make people aware of the page you've um, made up on Facebook. Yeah, on, face, on Facebook, uh, we'll put a link. In fact, I think we have put a link from the Wild Show 
up Facebook page and uh, there'll be lots of information there about the raffle. It's only £5 a ticket and you may win lots and lots of gadgets uh, that form the basis of a radio I, I, studio. I, I hope you're underlining May. <laughs> JD, you, you are the person who's going to be holding all the money. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm off on my <laughs> annual holiday to Tenerife. No, no, I'm not. No, no. I do that. No, we're going to find some even more trustworthy people no, to no. oversee your <laughs> yeah. holding of the yeah, money. Yeah, somebody's going yes. to look after me. <laughs> I think I'm going to play another, another track, and uh-huh. then we'll come back to you, JD, and see what you make of our, our various schemes. Yeah. So this, this is a track called Waiting for a Star to Fall. <laughs> 